In the previous session, we have seen this identity. Friends, in this session, we will see some examples based on this identity. Look at this question. Can you find the solution of this? When you observe these two expressions, you can see that this is in the form of a plus b, a minus b. Here, a is 2x and b is 3y. Now, you can simplify this by using this identity. The result will be equal to 2x square minus 3y square. And the final answer will be this. Therefore, we can say that by using this identity, we can directly find the product of similar expressions. Let us move on to the next example. Can you find the value of this? Can we use this identity here? We can see that this is in the form of a square minus b square. Here, a is 5.04 and b is 4.96. So this means this expression will be equal to this. On further simplification, we will get this. So, this is another way of applying this identity. Let us look at the next example. Can you find the answer to this? We can see that this expression is in this form. Here, A is 3 by M and B is 2 by N. We know that similar questions can be solved using this identity. So, by substituting the values of A and B, we get this. Simplifying it further, we get this as the final answer. This way, we can even solve similar expressions using this identity. Let us now look at the last example related to this identity. Can you find the answer for this expression? We can solve this expression in two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. Consider the first part. Since it is in the form of this identity, we can write it like this. Now, consider the second part. We can solve it in the same way. So, we'll get this. Now, let's substitute these expressions we got in this expression. We can say that minus m square and plus m square will cancel each other. So, we will get this as the final answer. In this session, we have seen some examples based on this identity. In the next session, we will see some common mistakes that can occur while using this identity.